today I'm bringing you a quick crafts video and today we're going to be looking at metallic gilding polish and answering some of the questions that you have been asking. Like for example, can you stamp on it? And also something you might not have thought of, can you emboss on it? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Okay, so I've just taken a small piece of multifarious card. So that's three and a bit by one, two, five and a bit. Just, you know, if I was gonna use this for a tag or something. So very quickly, all you do is open your metallic gilding polish, pop, pop the um, sponge, and we'll just take some out of there. And I'm just gonna swirl it into a paste on my mat here. Cracking colour this, ocean teal, ocean teal gilding polish. I'm just going to apply it in circles. Okay. Cracking colour, look at that. How easy was that to just get a colour? Wow. I'm going to do two of these. So we'll just do one at a time. So this one, just give it a little bit of heat. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a squirt and the sponge to help make sure that this stays with a little bit of moisture in it. Okay, and it'll last longer if we do that. Okay, just give this a bit of a wipe. Don't forget this is water-based, so it's gonna be easy to clean up after. I'm just gonna leave that there because I might come back to that bit if it's still moist, we'll see in a second. Okay, so now this is touch dry. So our question is, can you stamp on it? Now I'm going to use archival ink and I've got one of the stamps from the Rory and Darcy set and I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough ink on this. Bear with. Okay, here we go. I'm going in. I'm just going to stamp him. Smack bang in the middle. And just hold because with archival, you want it to have a chance to let the ink do the magic. Okay. Fingers crossed. Look at that. It's magic. So yes, the answer to that is, can you stamp on it? Yes, but you have to use archival ink. I think that's stunning. You could just put a couple of liquid pearls on there as well. Maybe another colour of the metallic gilding polishes around the edges. And you've got a lovely little tag. Okay, so that was question number one. Can you stamp on it? Yes, you can. And now we're going to take another tag. Same size, because that's all I've got at the moment. And I'm opening my polish again. So I'm opening the lid and just popping it. You notice I haven't done any blotting or anything at all. If you want to speed up the drying, you can use a little bit of your heat tool. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it like we did before. Okay. I'm only putting one coat on, but you can put more coats on depending on how intense you want the colour to go. Okay, and now I'm going to just put the lid. Oh, hang on. What did I forget? A couple of squirts of water. Squirt on the sponge. Remember what we're trying to do is to keep, to stop it from going dry and it'll last longer that way. Okay, so that's tag number two. I'll let that dry just while I give this a little wipe because it's, we're going to try and do some embossing now and see if that works. So using my same stamp that I've just used on the other one, I might just see if I can hurry along the drying here. Fab. Fabulous, look. I know that's <laughs> fabulous, but look at my blue hands. No, it is drier, which is good. Okay, now, I'm just going to use the anti-static pad to make sure that it doesn't all go everywhere. And I'm using Versamark. So I'm just going to ink up my little stamp to 
so it's covered. Same thing again, right in the middle for diddle. There we go. And what colour shall I use? Black glint will go with. I'm just going to pop her, pop this under a piece of paper. Okay. Bit of a tap to get any excess off. It's just, and then before I do that, I will just put these back in this little pot. Fold the paper. Easy whizzy, let's get busy. Fab. Put the lid on that. In fact, we don't need that now, do we? And, and now, just going to give it a bit of a dry. Mind your fingers, it does get warm. And you just wait for it to change. And as if by magic, so it changes. I'm going to do that again. I'm doing it again, Sam. Sorry. So bear with. So I'm taking another one of these tags, opening my metallic gilding polish, popping the sponge, taking some of the gilding wax and working it into a circle. And I'm just going to pop it on my card covering everywhere with it. Fabulous. <laughs> Almost feel like the Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. Right. Ah, a couple of sprays to make sure we keep the moisture inside the pot, keeping it available for us to work with for longer. And I'm just going to dry it. Give it a helping hand along the way. You don't have to do it like this but it's just if you're an impatient crafter, you can do a little bit of that. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a clean. There we go. And now, that's fab. Just gonna take my Versa mark and ink up my little stamp. I'm just going to try to very carefully place this without any squidgery onto my piece of card because I'd like a really clear print. I'm just going to pop a piece of card underneath and off. I'll move that out of the way for the time being. Get the excess into my pot and then give it a bit of a dry. Mind your fingers. And you can see it slowly turn. There we go. Happy days.
So my lovelies, that was Black Glint Wow Embossing Powder. And that was Archival. So the answer to the question, can we stamp on it? Yes, we can with Archival. And can we emboss on it? Yes, we can. Obviously, you can choose whatever colour you want. OK, so we had a question, didn't we? And our question was, can you stamp on the metallic gilding paste? And the question is, the answer is, sorry, yes, you can using Archival. Archival ink, let me just show you. So you can using Archival ink. Yeah, happy days. Next one, which you didn't ask, but we were going to tell you anyway, can you emboss on it? And the answer is yes, you can. Now, you can use an anti-static um, Word, word, anti-static cloth. That's it, that's the badger. You can use an anti-static cloth on this as well um, to stop the embossing powder from sticking anywhere it shouldn't. Um, but I didn't on this and it seems to have come out okay. So that was Versa Mark with my stamp and I just used some WOW embossing powder, black glint. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us for this quick crafts session. It's not easy to say that. Quick crafts session. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Any questions, any comments, please pop them in the post below and we will try and answer them for you. If there's anything you'd like to see, please pop that in the comments too. And that will be fabulous. Take care. See you soon.